Hi Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thanks for tuning in to this reading. I felt like this is a reading or a message that needed to come to you around this time frame and it is going to be centered around what's happening around you in love. So we'll see if there's any update around a connection or any internal things that are shifting or external things that are shifting in your relationships as well. So I really appreciate you joining me and of course if you are a Cancer Pisces Scorpio then this reading is for you. Um, let's lay out a Priestess Oracle card to see. Um, what's the theme? What's going on around you, uh, water signs, at this present energy? Okay, you've got the Priestess of Enchantment. It's almost like you are coming into this hypnotic energy. And I love that she's wearing this blue cloak because you are represented by water. So I feel like you are actually enchanting someone around you. Okay, I think... You are activating a very strong interest in a lover, an ex, a person. And, you know, when we're enchanted, it's almost like we're under a spell. And it does bring about an, uh, an element of magic to it. So when I read this, it's almost like you're coming up to a very magical time in your relationships. Or it's almost like you're finding the magic again. Because when we're enchanted, where this is like we're in awe of someone, we're in lust, we're in love. So all of these big emotions are coming up around you. It's something that you may feel towards another person, but it's very likely that this person is going to feel this way around you as well, or because of you, uh, because that enchantment is present in the connection. Let's see what else we can learn about this. Okay, King of Cups. There's a lot of love here. This can be Pisces. We've got Sagittarius as well. Okay, we've got the King and Queen of Cups. So what I want to say, Water Signs, is that the person you are with or the person you're about to connect with is in fact someone that is your soulmate or someone that you're meant to be with. The King and Queen of Cups are a powerful couple. And, and I get the sense that straight away you're connecting on a mutual level with your person. So this could indicate a few things. It's very exciting because, because it could indicate that this is the universe's way of validating your connection, that you and this person belong together, that you and this person love each other. Now, it could be on a subconscious level. So for those that aren't connected with this person as yet, it could be that the love is present, but it's present in a subconscious form, okay? It hasn't been vocalized. It hasn't been expressed. It hasn't sort of eventuated into the physical realm. If, however, you have this person in your life and you have expressed your love for each other, it's almost like this wonderful validation that the two of you are twin flame or soulmate energies. Why? Because you've got the temperance card and you can see that beautiful yin and yang, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Um, and maybe this relationship is what is, is what is about to make your life enchanting or something that is making your life enchanting and what a wonderful delicious feeling water signs to be in this kind of energy now i feel like with the two of swords there's something about rejection this love has been rejected maybe you've blocked each other before it's almost like you're coming from a background where you've said no to this person before you've been out of touch or you weren't ready for love or they weren't ready it's almost like someone had their guard up Someone had, could be you or them, um, someone had this sort of closed off energy. And I get the vibe with the Page of Wands. If you and this person sort of distanced from each other and you sort of went traveling or you went to different people or you went out and saw the world and did what you had to do, if there isn't a reunion coming back into the picture very soon, which is very likely, um, the the cards are telling me that even if you are temporarily separated from this person, the love is still there. There's still love, but they do look at different directions. Queen of one, uh, Queen of Cups looks that way. Queen of uh, King of Cups looks the other way. Um, so I'm getting a sense where you love someone. But you're either pretending to be distracted by other things you are genuinely distracted by other things you've got a lot of stuff going on or it's like life has taken you different paths but the love is still there and it keeps coming back now we've got the moon here it's cancer energy is very intuitive and it can rule the subconscious mind 
things like dreams and visions and memories and deja vu moments. So you may find yourself in this bit of like spiritual limbo, okay? Suddenly might find yourself thinking more and more about this person, dreaming more about them, um, visualizing them, even missing them because the, the moon can be nostalgia. Um, and the reason that's coming up is because you still care. And it's like your subconscious mind, your higher self, your that internal part of you is trying to tell you something. And I think for the most part with the um, temperance, you've sort of made peace with the fact, you've made peace with what's happened between you and this person. Um, you've made peace with them maybe seeing someone new. You've made peace with something like that. But it's almost like you belong together. And although you may be distracted by different people, different things now, there's a really strong love that clearly still exists between the both of you. Two of Swords can be options in love. So one of you potentially has someone else. Uh, maybe it's the both of you. But underneath it all, I'm always questioning it because I'm thinking, why be the page of ones to other people when you still love each other? Um, the temperance could be like you need time. And there's something that you need to be honest about, maybe with yourself and maybe with this other person, um, before you can proceed in this connection. Because that is a message of needing to be upfront about something that you may have hidden or may have blocked or may have withheld from this person. But the love, it's almost like love hangs in the balance. You can see this hanging heart here. Um, so seeing that in the cards, it makes me feel like, it makes me feel this isn't something you should abandon. And it makes me feel like, okay, you're in a delicate situation right now. Things may be very sensitive. You're not really sure where you are. Um, but I feel like the your internal self is trying to give you that message that there's something here that's worth fighting for. And I think it so ties into this enchanting energy because it's being mesmerized. You're coming into this energy where you're mesmerizing your person or they're mesmerized by you. And, you know, we can only fight this for so long. We can only try to resist it or try to palm it off or try to act a certain way. But eventually the true feelings do come out. And I think that's what's happening here. The, the temperance card could be a metaphor for some sort of reveal happening. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you are hearing from this person. There's confessions of feelings. Um, there's even a very emotional outpour. The both of you coming back together. The I love yous. I want to be with yous. It's a real emotional proclamation of love. And it's going to get you far page of wands is all about action and this shows that you're going to take that physical action as well as your person to sort of help bring that very enchanting energy that you're coming up to in your love lives so a really fantastic reading water signs don't forget to leave behind a like uh, and also to subscribe to the channel um, for future readings otherwise i'm sure i'll check in with you either tomorrow or a little later in the week so stay tuned for more content otherwise take care and bye for now